Hi, I'm Jackie Shea. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm an angler and well-rounded outdoors woman and a full-time content creator since 2014. Let me start with this selfie from 2016. I am in my first ever pair of bibs from the brand Grundens. I was happy as can be because I was about to go fishing in the Bahamas and I finally had a pair of bibs. But anyway, do you see how big they are? That is actually a men's size extra small. You might be wondering, well Jackie, why did you buy men's size? Why didn't you buy a women's size? Because there was no women's size. Back then, Grundens only had men's sizes. Fast forward to today though, and that's not the case. There is an entire women's line available at Grundens. So what I would have done to have all that stuff available to me back in 2016, I definitely would have looked much more stylish. And fortunately, it isn't the only brand that somewhat recently added a line of women's gear and apparel to their company. I have witnessed so many brands in the industry change in the favor of women, and it is so awesome that I've been able to experience it. Not only have I witnessed it, but I have worn and used almost every single big name brand in the fishing apparel industry. I've worked with apparel brands at expos, boat shows, flea markets, you name it. I have received so much gear from so many different brands over the years, it is actually insane. Some may refer to me as an Instagram fishing girl, and I've got to admit, I did feel pretty cool getting boxes of gear and apparel shipped to my house just to post pictures in it to promote on my social media. Since 2016, there has been an enormous boom of Instagram fishing girls like me, which is so cool because it has pushed major brands to add more to their women's styles of clothing and gear to fish in due to the overwhelming demand of women getting into the sport that need clothes to fish in that fit them and also looks good. And after all these years, I am so grateful for all the opportunities I've received to wear different brands of fishing apparel because now I've absolutely formulated an opinion of what I do and don't like about the clothes that I fish in. Not only do I fish and spend a lot of time on the water, I test out all of my gear in one of the most hardcore fishing destinations in the world, and that is Venice, Louisiana. If your gear doesn't stand up to Venice, then it's no good. I need gear and clothing that can take a beating. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my reviews of the most current styles available to women on the water today. 100% unsponsored, totally raw, and my absolute honest opinion, coming from someone who has seen and worn it all, I bring you the Try On Haul series. What's going on guys? Welcome to my very first 100% unsponsored try on haul review of probably one of the OG fishing apparel companies and that is Pelagic Gear. They have been around forever and honestly back in the day was probably one of the first brands that I remember coming out with like a new trendy women's line. Actually, I remember this print coming out in 2014. That's the earliest that I saw it. It may or may not have came, come out in 2013. I really don't remember. And there's really no way for me to look it up, but the like depth finder print, like the sonar print, those leggings were like so hot. Every girl had them, at least every girl in the fishing community and um, I still have them. I'm gonna try them on and show you because it actually relates to the try on haul for today's video. I'm gonna start with my stats, my height, weight, etc. I'm gonna put it on the screen right here and also in the description box below so you can get an idea of my size and how things fit me because I want this video to be helpful for you when you're going to go shopping on Pelagic's website. I'm gonna start with the leggings. If anyone remembers this old print. So my point with wearing these, these are from 2016. These are a size small. They still have the same exact style, shape, fit in their leggings today. Full length, they go all the way down to my ankle and a small fits me, in my opinion, perfectly. Typically, I don't prefer a top seam like this on my leggings. The seam at the top of the band that I actually like, it's a flat seam. There's no stitching right here. And typically, what I like about that kind of a seam is that it hugs, you know, it lays over your skin. It doesn't pull and pinch you in. With these though, they don't really do that. But I do find that if I'm going to buy any other leggings and any other brand, I 
avoid the leggings that have a top seam. But since I know these leggings and I know that they're the same exact fit and cut and everything, I will purchase them again because I know that they don't bother me. But I would prefer a flat seam at the top of their leggings. Also, the um, crotch seam right here. I would really like to see a seamless, uh, which is the new style now in a lot of active wear. It really helps prevent that, you know, the the camel toe <laughs> situation going on. Also, I love the rise of the waist. It comes just below my belly button. I don't want it to be like too high. And then if you do hike it up higher, I could see that front seam becoming an issue right there. Another thing I would like to see is an update on this seam back here. If you can see, it goes straight across, which is not very flattering. A lot of companies now have a little bit of a contour right here that just is a little bit more flattering on your glutes. But let me put on the two new prints that I really like and their spring collection, because these are old AF and I don't think they even sell these anymore. It would be cool though to see a comeback of these leggings. This is the new print. They call it the, by the way, I do love Pelagic's website. It's very easy to navigate and very organized. Okay, so it's called the WS Maui legging and their description is, from fishing and boating to paddle boarding and practicing yoga on the beach, these leggings provide a flattering look while combining sun protection with moisture management technologies. Featuring ocean-minded designs to showcase your love for the deep blue, the Pelagic Maui leggings are simply a must-have for all lady anglers out there. I love how they show you the model and they also give you her stats as well and what size she's wearing in the leggings, which is really helpful too when you're online shopping. They are very lightweight and thin which by the way, you do have to watch out for pilling and pulling when you're washing it or if you're gonna go sit on some rocks or something, if you're diving or whatever, which I do dive in these leggings quite frequently and they are great for diving. And it says water and stain repellent. So that brings me to this cool print. It really, when I first saw it, it made me think of how this is going to hide fish blood stains so well. Just the, like, the way that the print is, it already looks like there's fish blood on it. So if you do happen to get stains on it, it's not going to ruin your leggings. This print they call blue, but they kind of designed it after the Giyutaku, <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right, Asian artwork that they do uh, where you put paint on an actual dead fish and then lay a piece of paper over and kind of make a stamp of the actual fish. But this print is different than regular Giyutaku because it's not, the fish don't look dead. They're like actually in movement, which, there's a cool tuna, there's flying fish, and there's mar a marlin. Um, I'm pretty sure there's mahi, mahi. There's a wahoo in there too, uh, somewhere. And I just thought this print looked badass. I was like, okay, I like that. You know, typically I'm not uh, too much of a fan like with this kind of stuff. Um, I feel like if you've got too much crazy stuff going on in your clothing, you look a little bit clownish out on the water, but I really like this print and I also love the fact that it will probably hide fish blood stains very well. It also comes in a really cool green color which almost looks like camo in my opinion. So that's basically the spring collection. There's a bunch of this Giyutaku print, mainly in this blue color and the green here on the website. Price point isn't too bad. They're $75. Um, it's a little high, but they're not bad. Like I've had these pairs of leggings for a very long time. You just have to be careful with washing, like I said. They're not see-through. So when you, when you bend over or stretch the fabric, it's not, um, sheer the only thing is i am wearing a pair of seamless underwear under these so if you did want to wear a bikini bottom underneath you'll probably see um some bikini lines but i gotta say this print is really cool at hiding things like flaws like if you're worried about cellulite i'm sure it would be good cellulite coverage okay next pair of leggings so i'm obviously starting with the leggings and bottoms is called the WS Fiji legging. These are slightly different. They still feature that Giyutaku print and these I got in the green color because the green is just super cool. And they also feature a pocket on the side, which I love. I love pockets and bottoms. 
pockets and everything really. Same top seam right here, about the same exact fit. Still have a, a seam down the middle of the crotch. Waist hits about the same. And the back is about the same as well. You've got a cool panel of the print on the back here, which again, I'd like to see a little bit of prettier glute contours. But still, in my opinion, these look pretty cool. I am keeping these for sure. I don't think there's anything much different about them from the last ones I showed you, except for that pocket. And there's also a seam running underneath the knee right here that kind of comes across. Don't know if that's for anything specific, but just to look sporty. And then it comes in five colors, but for the spring, the new collection, it comes in the green, like the ones I'm wearing, and then the blue print as well. You know what I forgot to do in these leggings? I forgot to do a squat test for you. So this, is what they look like. Bending over, you cannot see. I definitely think, whoa, I definitely think that this gets a an A plus for the sheer test. Even when you stretch the fabric and the material, it holds up quite nicely. Okay, moving on. So I have a pair of the new board shorts on and me and Pelagic's board shorts, we have not had a good history. The last time I ordered a pair of their board shorts, it was, um, gosh, must have been at least five years ago. Size zero, the smallest size that they offer, and they were huge. I was scared to order them ever again, except now this cool, super cool new print. I'm figuring, oh, maybe they updated their sizing and they made its things fit better. Um, I still, I think they updated their sizing, but I still don't think we're going to have a very good relationship with these board shorts. So first of all, um, I'm not a fan of the inseam. This has got to be like, it cannot be more than two inches. I mean, I feel like as I'm moving around, they just kind of run up there and I just do not feel comfortable. They feel a little too short. The back is not so bad, but still I'm not very comfortable in this very small inseam length of short. They did make the zero a little smaller, but if you can see, I've got a lot of gaping back here still. So I just, I feel they don't feel very comfortable. Um, they're great material, thin, lightweight, love the print. They have two pockets in the front right here. There is no inner like underwear lining, which is also very nice because I hate that. And there is zipper pockets in the back, which is very nice. I don't think that could hold an iPhone or anything. They're very small and shallow. Yeah, and they're, they don't even open wide enough for an iPhone. Same thing with the front pockets. I hardly have room here to fit even my entire hand. And the button's kind of cool. It's a plastic button, which is nice. And then there's this strange little extra Velcro bit down here, which I guess just keeps it closed. I'm gonna return these because of the gaping in the back. And like I said, this is a size zero, so I don't have anywhere to go down in size. Plus, I wouldn't wanna go down in size because of how short they already are. So I just don't feel comfortable like sitting down, they just go right up, right, right up there. I'm not, I'm not comfortable like that. So I had to switch over to my iPhone because my regular camera overheated. So there's a few different options for shorts. They're all like that similar style though of board short. There's no options for like a pair of yoga shorts or really anything else. One difference between the regular board shorts and another pair of shorts that they offer is the waistband. So these have no button or a zipper or anything. I am just kind of thinking if, you know, if one doesn't fit right, then maybe the rest fit the same and I'm not gonna go try to try a different pair. But these, the ones that I got specifically are the WS Moana in the blue. They also come in the green Giyotaku print. And let's see the features, 50 plus UPF protection. That's great, except I feel like I'm wearing a bikini bottom because they're so tiny and uh, water and stain repellent. They are board short material. They're not um, soft or even very stretchy. They're slightly stretchy. I wouldn't say they're as stretchy as like the leggings. And I do like this little detail on the side. 
I do like that, that look. I just wish that they were a little bit longer. Like I would like a four inch inseam. Also, I would love to see a yoga short because that's what I prefer to fish in personally. So unfortunately, we'll be returning these. They just don't fit right and they're not comfortable. So again, this print is badass, but I'm going to return this shirt and I will tell you why. First of all, the material. It's that same sleek performance material, UPF, which me personally, after years and years of fishing in various fishing shirts, I have come to the conclusion that I do not like this performance material when I'm fishing. I cannot stand it. The thought of putting one of these on in the heat of the day just, it makes me feel like I'm wearing saran wrap. I just, I can't do it anymore. Pelagic does offer a variety of fishing material, of materials in their fishing shirts. So they have Aquatech, Exotech, Vaportech. I think that's it for their materials that they do their uh, fishing shirts in. It's a little bit unclear on the website because they have such a variety. We have the WS Vaportech and this is the page for it. I'm wearing a size extra small because I'm so sick and tired of women's fishing shirts being so long and just like frumpy. I hate having like a long, big, baggy, horrible shirt on. I look terrible. I want something that fits me. Personally, I would like a shirt that comes to here on a, in a fishing apparel company. I'd love to see that. A lot of times I see girls out fishing and they tuck their shirts in to their bikini tops like this, just so you can kind of look a little bit more, I don't know, sh like look like you have a shape. <laughs> I don't know, just look a little bit more flattering. Second of all, why make a long sleeve without thumb holes? I just, I can't. These cuffs though are pretty cool. They're not just a straight arm. They do have somewhat of a cuff that goes around, which is interesting, because a lot of times I do roll up my sleeves like this so that it is kind of nice if you want to keep them up. It does hold up. And then we do have this really cool venting uh, down the armpit in the side, which will save you, I guess, instead of wearing just a straight performance shirt that's just all closed in. That is a nice feature. I'm still not going to wear it because I've worn performance shirts like this with vents before and I still end up sweating and stinking at the end of the day. So let's talk about the hood. <laughs> but this hood... Okay, so my hair is in a bun. Most girls have long hair, right? It's as out of the way as it can be. This is how I normally wear my hair now fishing. If I put the hood on, I mean, it's just, it's just there to where the point where I kind of feel like it's gonna fall off. Like if I'm doing things, trying to move my head. <laughs> really what you want is you want the hood to come over just at least like a little bit like this so that you can lay it over your hat and feel comfortable. So I think the hood's a little too small, which then kind of defeats the purpose. I'm not, if the hood's too small and uncomfortable, I'm not gonna wear it. So then I've got all this extra material back here kind of for no reason. So if I was gonna go for this shirt again, I'd get the one without the hood because they do have one without a hood. So do not like the vapor tech, not a fan. Okay, so this is a little, this is a little tighter. It's also an extra small, but this is an Aquatech material, uh, which is definitely different than the Vaportech. I want to see up close this material. It is different than the shiny performance polyester material, but oh my goodness, the extra small arms are so tight. I mean, it fits well, I look very nice and shapely, but I'm a little uncomfortable. And oh my goodness, it has thumb holes. Good job, love it. We've got a little logo right here that also tells you the UPF rating. And we've got a little kind of pocket logo right here, which is really cute. This is why I liked this shirt, is because of the back. So look at this cool Wahoo with the Florida flag. With the branding can you see that it's a little it's like screen I don't know what that is called it feels like a sticker though on the back can you hear it 
it's not in the shirt. It's like screen, it's like stickered on, like screen printed on or something. So I'm a I would be a little worried about that in the wash, but oh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this shirt or not. I kind of feel like I might let go, return it because of the uh, arms. They're very tight. Like I feel like, I don't feel like I can go like this. See how tight they are. I might return it and get an X or a small, a size small, but then the length might be longer, but you know, and I'm not sure about that screen printed graphic on the back, um, but it's so cool. I love Wahoo. I love Florida and the Florida flag. I am definitely a fan of the design of the graphics. The material is all right. It's not like my favorite. Still feels kind of hot. Definitely better than the Vapor Tech though. The final thing is a jacket. Oh my God, like it's so, when I saw this, I had to have it. The print just looks so cool. It reminds me of like camo, but it's like the cool fish print with this flying fish and the tuna and the marlin and the wahoo. I don't know, I don't know. I just, when I saw it, I was like, I, I gotta have that. It's lined with fleece, which is definitely gonna keep you warm. It's soft on the inside and it has thumb holes. So let me put it on for you. Okay, so I'm wearing, I'm pretty sure a small. Oh no, this is an extra small. So an extra small, it's got a regular zipper, which feels like a, you know, a normal zipper. Pockets right here. We've got thumb holes in the front. I'm loving it. But the only pockets on this thing are right here. And I hate that because when I have a jacket on outside of all of my other clothes, I want to have somewhere to securely put my phone, especially on the water, on the boat. You do not want to feel like your phone's going to fall out. So I prefer to have at least a zipper pocket in the chest or somewhere inside that I can securely put my phone and feel confident that my phone's not going to fall out. But uh, I'm going to keep it because the print is just way too cool. This is like fish camo. I feel so cool right now. It's very warm. I definitely feel like that um, fleece on the inside is gonna cut the wind and it doesn't feel waterproof, but water resistant, it's always better than nothing. And the thumb holes make me so happy. And the fit is nice. You know, it's a jacket, it's a hoodie. Uh, let me see how the hood fits. I've never even tried it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, very nice, comfortable hood. It comes over far enough so I don't feel like, and it zips up only to there, which is fine can pull the strings <laughs> do like that with South Park in. So this one's $90. I think that's a little high. It's called the WS Grander Jacket. It also comes in this print in something called the Drop Shot, which is $140. And I'm assuming that must be fully waterproof. I'm not sure. It does have a chest zipper pocket, if you can see that, which is really nice kind of want that one too, except it doesn't have the full all over print. It's got that like kind of color blocking and that one only comes in green. But this one, this one also comes in the blue print as well. So you can see that comes in that blue. How do I get it? So that's super cute too. I really, I honestly want both of them, but I decided to go with the green because it looks like, it almost looks like um, real tree, like, like hunting camo. And I think green looks better on me. But anyway, definitely love this one. I'm keeping this. So we also have a little tiny branding right there. But other than that, hardly any pelagic in your face, which I also like. Check out that print. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. And that's it. That's all of the clothes I got for this try on haul review video. I hope I helped you out a little bit when you're going to go shop on the website, because that's like really the whole point of me doing this is being able to give you my 100% honest opinion on the clothing pieces so that when you go to purchase online, you kind of have a better idea. And then if you have any other questions, of course, please let me know. I have had, I have the clothes here. I tried them on. I haven't fully tested all the new stuff out, but I have worn Pelagic in the past many, many years ago. And it hasn't been my, my 
favorite, but I do gotta say, I love the leggings for fishing and diving in. I am very pleased with my new purchases. I am returning a lot of stuff, but there is some other stuff on the website that I didn't get to try. Anyway, guys, that wraps up my very first video for the Try On Haul series. Look out for some more. Let me know in the comments what brands you'd like to see me try on, and I'll see you all in the next video.